Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia. Broadcast for today. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. We re reaffirm our support to Yerevan's proposal, Toivo Klar. Sons of Western Armenia, George Dukmejan. The forest fire in Izmir have approached the settlements. The ambassador of Iran emphasized the political determination aimed at the comprehensive development of relations with Eastern Armenia. Cyprus postcard of 1915 with the image of Queen Satanik, the wife of Artashes the Great. Let's support the television of Western Armenia. On 17 August, the speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia was held. She emphasized the memorable Zoom meeting dedicated to the 104th anniversary of the Treaty of Severus, during which Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, gave a speech, who emphasized the importance of the Treaty of Severus as the main support for the restoration of the rights of the Armenian people. Mr. President emphasized that Armenian people should never forget to put and implement their rights. The speaker also referred to the speeches of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, and the Chairwoman of the National Assembly, Ms. Nelly Harutsunyan. They referred to the relevance of the Treaty of Severus and emphasized it as a document of international law, which has remained unfinished and should be implemented. The speaker mentioned the new issue of the Western Armenian weekly newspaper as well, where President Armena Gabrahamian's speech was presented at the seventh session of the Export Mechanics on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. The speech of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, was also presented in the magazine regarding the preparatory meeting of the Export Mechanics for the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. Toivo Klar, a EU special representative, writes in his sixth microblog. We reaffirm our full support for Yerevan's proposal to create a bilateral mechanism to investigate statements on ceasefire violations. Let's remind that today the Ministry of Defense of Azerbaijan spread misinformation as if the armed forces of the Republic of Armenia opened the fire in the direction of the Azerbaijan locations and the Ministry of Defense of the Republic of Armenia denied the misinformation, recalling the proposal of the Armenian side to create a bilateral mechanism for investigation of cases of violations of ceasefire regime. I believe it is in the interest of our country to adopt and pursue policies that are consistent with our principles, respect for freedom, human rights and civil rights. George Dukmejian, former governor of the state of California, served as the governor of California from 1983 to 1991 and became the first person of Armenian origin to hold that position. Dukmejian actively struggled against crime and dealt with issues related to human rights. Dukmejian was born in 1928 in New York. He moved to California in the 1950s. His father was originally from Ayantap and his mother from Erzurum, who immigrated to the United States after the surviving the genocide against the Armenians. George's aunt was a victim of the genocide. Forest fire cannot be stopped in Izmir. They spread quickly through the wind and have approached the settlements. People are being evacuated from a number of places. Due to the fire, the city was completely covered in smoke. The fire reached the walls of the city hospital, was said in the report. The ambassador of Iran emphasized the political determination aimed at the comprehensive development of relations with Eastern Armenia. A cooperation agreement was signed between the Iranian Tourist and Automobile Club with the Automobile Federation of Eastern Armenia. The ambassador of Iran to Eastern Armenia was also present at the event. The agreement on the Iranian side was signed by Muhammad Hussein Sufi, executive director of the Tourism and Automobile Club of Iran, and from the Eastern Armenian side was signed by the president of the Automobile Federation, Arsen Manukyan. According to the Iranian embassy in Eastern Armenia, the main goal of this agreement is to facilitate the visit of Armenian citizens to Iran by private cars and the issuance of carnet de passage. The signing of this agreement is an important step in strengthening tourism and transport relations between the two countries and may contribute to the increase of tourist trips by Armenian citizens as well as the development of cultural and economic relations between the Islamic Republic of Iran and the Republic of Eastern Armenia. At the signing ceremony, the ambassador of the Islamic Republic of Iran to Armenia, Mehdi Sopani, mentioned the meeting between Nikol Pashinyan and the supreme leader of the Islamic Revolution and emphasized the political determination aimed at the 
comprehensive development of relations with Armenia. Queen Satenik is the daughter of Elan's king, the first wife of Armenian king Artashes I, the mother of Artavast A and Tigrana, who is known in Armenia mainly due to the epic Vipassang and due to Armenian historian in 5th century Mufsas Khoinati. But she is also the beloved heroine of North Caucasus legends. Khoinati wrote that the Elans entered Armenia during the reign of Artashes. The Armenians defeated them in the battle and took the Elan prince to prison. The Elan retreated and positioned themselves on the northern bank of the Kura River, while Artashes positioned themselves on the southern bank. Satanic princess of Elan addressed with a speech the Armenian king Artashes, asking him to return her brother with these words. It is not the behavior for noble heroes to sow eternal enmity between two brave peoples. While hearing these wise words of the princess, Artashes fell in love with her and, jumping off his horse, swam across the river and took the princess to his camp. Then the historian described the wedding of Artashes and Satanik. The television of Western Armenia, being faithful to its principles and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. It mainly broadcasts the history of Western Armenia with political and other contexts related to the present and future, as well as news raising various issues. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly, and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. The compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together. This was all for today. Goodbye.